Hello, third graders. Today is day, I don't know, day something of reading. I think it's day four. Day four of reading. And it's <clears throat> Monday. Happy Monday. Mrs. Flem here. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Flem here. Mrs. Flem and Sutton. We're going to start off with a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ice cream. Ice cream who? I scream if you don't let me in. Okay, so today, my friends, we are doing cause and effect. Now, cause and effect is always pretty confusing. It's hard to grasp. So, you'll be doing a little more of this in fourth grade and we will just kind of reintroduce it. So cause and effect. Cause, an action that happens first, and then the reason something else happens, okay? And effect, what happens as a result? The consequence of the first action, okay? So I'm gonna read, so first let's just think about that again. Cause, an action that happens first. The reason that something else happens, okay? And then effect. What happens as a result, okay? Because result me, or effect means as a result. The consequence of the first action or the cause, okay? So I'm going to read just a simple passage and we will talk about it. So no more golden toads. Frogs and toads are important. They eat harmful insects that could destroy crops or carry diseases. Unfortunately, they are, there are fewer frogs and toads than there used to be. Some people think the reason is that houses and factories have been built where frogs and toads used to live. Other people think that water pollution has killed most of the frogs and toads. So you guys hear a cause and effect? Do you guys hear in there an action that happened first and then what happens as a result? Okay, think about what happened to the frogs and the toads as a result of stuff. Okay, so let's think about this. So what text structure is this? Okay, what are the parts of this passage and how are they connected? So this is obviously cause and effect. Okay, so it has a cause and effect structure because the first part of the text teaches us about something that happened. What did it teach us? Think about it. What happened to the frogs? The frogs and toads disappeared, as it said in the passage, okay? Because there are fewer frogs and toads than there used to be. And then the next part teaches us why that happened, the effect of that. Look at the effect. Reread right here. So, the next part teaches us why that happened. Because of house and factories taking away habitat and or water pollution. Okay? So now, cause and effect. So the why. Pollution and losing habitat is the cause and what happened. Frogs and toads are disappearing is the effect, okay? I wanna go to this slide and what are some of the key words to cause and effect? So I think used to, reasons, because of, also, when, then, so, this led to, if, then. If, then is a big one for cause and effect. Since, as a result, maybe due to, consequently, and therefore. So today, my friends, your job is to go on to Epic, look through some nonfiction books, and I want you to see if you can find a book that has a part of it that is set up as cause and effect, okay? And then go on to our Schoology discussion post and list the title and author of that book. Awesome. We will see you tomorrow.